business is booming in Priscilla Muti's shop in her eastern Kenyan village. Customers come from far and wide to buy the pigeon peas she grows on her four-hectare farm. She says selling these new varieties has made a world of difference to her. My income has raised from the pigeon peas in Little My income has Ikrasat. raised from the pigeon peas that I got from Ikrasat because from it I am able to feed myself and my family. The surplus I sell to my neighbors, and that income has helped me purchase cattle, build myself a home, purchase decent clothing, and most importantly, purchase a mobile phone that has helped me look for markets. Muti is one of a handful of farmers in Makueni district who are growing new varieties of pigeon peas, being introduced to Kenya by the International Crops Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics, or ICRASAT. In Kenya, ICRASAT is growing more than 40 varieties of pigeon pea crossbred to thrive in different altitudes, temperatures, rainfall, and other conditions. They also want to breed resistant to wilt, a disease that hits pigeon pea plants especially hard. Farmers have cultivated pigeon pea in this East African nation for centuries, but traditional varieties tend to take about 10 months to mature. Some of the new varieties being developed and tested in Kenya mature within five months of being planted, enabling farmers to have two or more harvests a year. And that is good news for farmers such as Bernard Nzuma, who says that his family's food security has increased because of the new varieties that he grows. It was this drought, so there is food security. I am able to have income and take care of the family needs. The pigeon pea leaves are good for improving the fertility of the soil. I use the leaves to feed my animals and also our fertilizer. Famine is a common occurrence in Kenya, where droughts and poor government planning cause frequent food shortages. Maize, considered to be the key crop in Kenya, does not flourish in times of drought. But pigeon pea grows well in dry times, says scientist Saeed Selim, director of ICRASAT's Eastern and Southern Africa program. He says that even maize yields can improve if the maize is grown next to pigeon peas. It is a multiple purpose crop. It's drought tolerant. When other crops fail, you have yield. The crop itself fixes uh, nitrogen from the air, making it into fertilizer that it uses. And what's left is used by your maize. Pigeon pea is also a nutritious food source for low-income earners. It is a poor man's meat. It is high in protein and is very nutritious. Actually, we work in eastern Kenya with orphans and uh, who somehow are uh, HIV AIDS infected and they gained weight by using protein. And people like the new varieties, says farmer and businesswoman Muti. <laughs> They say that the Ikrasat peas are fairly large and tasty. They have a lovely color that is consistent. Salim says he and his team are researching ways to increase yields within the varieties and are looking at how to expand the harvesting of the new varieties beyond Makueni District. Kathy Maitney for VOA News, Makueni District.